The Houthi militia has agreed to allow tugboats and rescue ships to reach a damaged crude oil tanker in the Red Sea, posing an environmental hazard. Iran's UN mission defends the Houthis, stating negligence rather than potential targeted attacks. This report has more. The Houthi militia has agreed to allow top boats and rescue ships to reach a damaged crude oil tanker in the Red Sea, according to Iran's UN mission. The tanker, carrying 150,000 tons of crude oil, poses an environmental hazard and could be among the largest from a ship in recorded history. The Houthis has requested a temporary truce for the entry of tugboats and rescue ships into the incident area, considering humanitarian and environmental concerns. The Houthis, which control Yemen's most populous regions, claimed that they attacked the Sonian in November as solidarity with the Palestinian resistance in its war against the Israeli occupation in the Gaza Strip. In over 70 attacks, they have sunk two vessels, seized another, and killed at least three seafarers. The Pentagon reported that a third party had tried to send two tugs to help salvage the Sonian, but the Houthis threatened to attack them. Iran's UN mission defended the Houthis, stating that the failure to provide aid and prevent an oil spill in the Red Sea stems from the negligence of certain countries, rather than concerns over the possibility of being targeted. The European Union's mission in the Red Sea confirmed that there was no oil spill yet in the waters near the Greek flag tanker hit by a ferry Houthi militant attack off Yemeni coasts. Besides, the U.S. official also said the ship was leaking an unidentified substance.